The Lord be with you. Good day everyone, this is Father Joel and this is Archinosis Gospel Reflection for today, 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let us reflect on the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 21, verses 5 to 19. Jesus reminds us all of the parousia, of the second coming. However, He warned them that it will not happen in a time when we expect it. In fact, the people were so much in awe with the beauty of the temple and He warned them, no stone will be left on top of another stone. And many false prophets will claim that I am He or He is there. And Jesus said, do not follow them. And people will put them and put all of us actually who follow Jesus into persecution. We will be put into the court. However, He said, do not be afraid because the Holy Spirit will be speaking in your behalf. Let us reflect on the two important message of our gospel. First, on the parousia. The second coming of our Lord is real. It is true. But when will it happen? No one knows. But the point of our gospel is that there will be end in all the evil of the world. Sometimes we are discouraged with the seemingly endless triumph of evil. That sometimes we say, why do good people suffer and why those evil triumph? Too unfair. But the gospel reminds us all, no stone will be left on top of another stone. Meaning to say, it will not always be the case. The Lord will not allow the evil to continue. The Lord will not allow us to suffer. We just have to believe in Him. That is why He said, if you will be persecuted, do not be afraid on what you are going to say because the Spirit will be with you. Indeed, it is happening right now. We have seen how the church is being persecuted from all parts of the globe. But yes, it is frightening. But let us remember the words of Jesus. Do not be afraid because He will come. The Lord will triumph. He will punish the evildoers and He will reward those who will remain faithful to Him. At the end of our life here on earth, let us strive that we shall be found worthy of being member of the kingdom of God. When everything has been taken away from all of us, and when everything has been destroyed because of the evil of this world, may we be found faithful to our mission and to our calling as disciples of the Lord. Like the disciples, there were times when they abandoned Jesus. There were times when they doubted Jesus. There were times when they turned their back on Jesus. But at the end, when the Holy Spirit finally came down upon them, they got the courage to stand and to face all the enemies of the Lord. May we all be like them. Maybe today we are afraid. Maybe today we have no courage. Maybe today we are weak. And maybe today we have abandoned the Lord. But hopefully, the Holy Spirit will be dawning on all of us and we will find the courage to continue defending our Lord until He comes again. Come Lord Jesus, come our King, and be the reason and be our defense in all forms of our persecutions. God bless you today and may we be found worthy disciples of the Lord. Amen.